to the NEC, the kitchen environment has long been a focus for required GFCI protection for personnel. However, those requirements were limited to 125 volt, 15 and 20 ampere plug-in single phase circuits. The 2020 NEC code adds phrasing to require GFCI protection for three phase loads for all plug-in equipment 100 amperes and below. Three phase kitchen loads might not be common in home kitchens, however, they are often used in commercial kitchens. When it comes to dishwashers, the code requires these applications to have GFCI protection for all appliances 60 amperes and below, regardless of whether it is permanently installed or connected by means of a receptacle. While this new code change may be inconvenient, it doesn't have to be. Little Fuse has a GFCI rated for personnel protection that enables commercial kitchens to meet with the NEC 210.8B code for high amperage equipment. Let's take a closer look at how a GFCI is designed to protect your personnel. A zero sequence current transformer detects leakage current from the three phases of a power circuit. If the vector sum of the current in all three phases does not equal zero, then some current is likely flowing through an unintended path, which could be a person. The GFCI reacts to a specified amount of leakage current detected by the current transformer. The GFCI quickly reacts to trip and shut off power to the equipment. As an added layer of safety, the shock block GFCI provides a ground check circuit to continuously verify that the equipment is properly grounded through the flexible cable back to the receptacle. If proper ground is not detected, then the GFCI de-energizes the receptacle. And when the plug is removed, the receptacle is automatically de-energized. This provides a safer workplace environment anytime the equipment is moved for maintenance or cleaning purposes. To learn more about Little Fuse Shock Block GFCI, visit littlefuse.com forward slash shock protection.